plan for today was to work in a garden but it's raining so it's not possible the only option left is to work in the workshop you have a view on the clapper box of my shaper this of course is the tool holder on this tool holder there is this ring and this ring is supposed to hold the tool put it in like this the problem is this bolt is pushing against the tool but the tool is not supported on the inside I will show you my scale you will see that here there's this void there's nothing to support so one day long ago I made this one just to help support put it in push it through put the cutting tool in place if he wants to okay that was a lot better but now there's a problem of rigidity because here there's nothing to support what I wanted to do was make a tool holder that comes lower so I changed I made this one put it in take the ring out of course put this one in and this one is pushed as low as possible that was much better put the tool in more support more rigid the problem is this steel is too soft and one day I tied a bit too much and this was the result not a good idea so what I want to do is make a new one like this but as big as possible because here you see this void is now enormous I don't want to change the original ring you never know if I need it for something so what I want to do is make it as big as possible let's determine the number of strokes per minute we need to cut this part the part is about 60 millimeters long we take 15 before the cut 5 after the cut total length of stroke 80 millimeters the cutting speed we need for this uh, soft steel is about 20 meters per minute 20 meters a minute 80 millimeters gives us 160 strokes a minute let's open this door normally here is a good spot to hide your beer cans for the moment this machine is set at 60 strokes a minute so we're gonna change the belt close the door keep the beer cold depth of cut 7 tenths of a millimeter lock this one okay start machine of, of course everything is oiled fasten your seat belts here we go
again, seven tenths of a millimeter. If someone tell you shapers are slow, it means they do not use them at the right cutting speed. I would like to do a little experiment. I set this machine now on 60 strokes a minute. That gives us a cutting speed of about 7 meters per minute. And after we are going to check the finish and we are going to do a second pass at 20 meters per minute and we will see the difference let's go I will do two times the same cut 0 0.75 millimeters finish is not terrible, it's feeling a bit rough. Let's do the same test at 20 meters a minute. I dial in here 0 0.75 millimeters. At these speeds we better lock the system. Let's see what it does. change the belts ready hold on to your seats here we go
Of course, at this speed, if something goes wrong, it's gonna cost us money. Yeah, the finish way smooth. There's a bit like a wave-like uh, finish on it. Maybe my tool died a little bit on the previous pass. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna regrind the tool and do the test again. Not the test again. Just continue. Now it's obvious that the cutting speed is important for the surface finish. Let's say for example that you want to change the cutting speed. For the moment we had a length of stroke 80 for a workpiece of 60. We use 20 meters per minute, so 100 strokes a minute. The stage below, uh, I said 100, no, 160 of course. The next step is 100 strokes a minute. I would like to slow down the cutting speed to 15 meters per minute for whatever reason maybe the steel is a bit harder but for a stroke length of 80 it will be too slow there's a simple solution we change the stroke length we do not change the part of course but we make the stroke longer so we go to 100 millimeter stroke will give us a cutting speed 15 meters a minute let's do just for kicks so on the machine I changed the belt now it's in the middle in the middle is for 100 strokes a minute always close the door the total length of stroke now this is uh, zero Oops, let's try it again. This is zero. One hundred and five millimeters. Let's take the cut and see what happens. I always take the same depth of cut. 0.75 millimeters, three quarter of a millimeter. right here I don't know if you can see Let's move, move you around a bit the difference of finish at 15 meters a minute it's starting starting to to shear off the metal in fact this 20 meters a minute is barely enough it should be better at 25 but my machine cannot go so fast okay I'm gonna put it back at 20 we'll see I just finished cutting the slot okay let's put uh, some tool blank in here of course I have to deburr That's what I wanted. Gravity. Now all left to do is take of course the part out. And we're gonna cut out this uh, T-shape.
one side done one more to go all this talking just for this it's not looking too bad let's give it a try Now all I need is another project to put it to the test.